Okay, so we have now our new expressions for the total energy of a particle. E is equal to gamma times mc squared. Gamma is the normal Lorentz factor. And the now relativistic three momentum is equal to uh, lowercase script p is equal to gamma m u, where u is the three velocity, not the four velocity. Now if we look at these two expressions, okay, and um, we multiply p um, times c and divide it by the energy, okay, then if we just, that that's gamma m absolute value of u times c divided by gamma m c squared. What we find is that beta is equal to u over c is equal to p c over e, where p is just the magnitude of the three momentum. Okay, so this is a really handy expression. Okay, because I think you'll find because um, what it says is that if you want to know what the um, what the beta is, basically if you want to know what the velocity of a particle is, you just need to know its momentum, its total momentum, and its total energy. And from those two things, you immediately find the velocity. Okay, now let's have another look at the components of the form momentum again. So we have the form momentum is equal to the temporal component, which is E over C. This is what we've also been calling P0, okay? And the spatial component, which is actually three um, distinct spatial components, X, Y, and Z. And we saw that this is equal to gamma MC and gamma MU. Again, U is the three velocity, not the four velocity. So um, if we, if we in the rest frame, um, u equals zero, so gamma equals one, and as we've seen before, the magnitude squared of the form momentum is just equal to m squared c to the fourth, m squared c squared. Um, but we also have, uh, this is invariant, okay? So in, so in general, so in the lab frame, p squared is in general just e over c squared minus little p squared. Remember, um, when you take the, uh, when you dot a four vector into itself, you get a minus sign here, not a plus sign as you would with a normal vector. Okay, so this, these two things together imply that e over c squared minus little p squared is equal to m squared c squared, which in turn um, gives us that e squared is equal to m squared c to the fourth plus little p squared times c squared. Now this is a very important relationship and you've actually seen it before. Um, if And you can see this is when you think about the situation in the rest frame. In the rest frame, little p equals zero and so e squared equals m squared c to the fourth which means that E equals mc squared. So this is the famous Einstein's, this is the famous uh, uh, principle relationship uh, formulated by Einstein that's on t-shirts and that which, you, which you've seen many, many times before. So next time somebody says E equals mc squared, if you want to feel like a real geek, you can tell them yes, but only in the rest frame. Okay, so um, we see that the that there's an energy, and this is an internal energy, um, that's associated with the mass of a particle. Okay, and um, this really is at the heart of nuclear physics, and also has some other consequences, such as um, a system of particles that generally has a lower lab frame mass than in the rest frame because of the interactions which changes the energy.